Hey folks, today we've got seven things from your everyday life that were practiced by the ancient Egyptians. Let's go. Number seven, iron. The ancient Egyptians seemed to be aware of the metal iron as early as 2,000 years before its actual discovery. In hieroglyphics, they speak of the quote-unquote metal from heaven, and this clearly could be iron. They extracted the metal from meteorites, and some of these metal beads were found resting in an ancient grave. They were probably particularly valuable. Number six, toothpaste. As long ago as 5000 BC, they produced a powder in Egypt that was probably used for brushing teeth. It consisted of eggshells and pumice. How exactly one cleaned his or her teeth this way is a mystery though. Number five, door locks. Not only in China, but also in Egypt were the first door locks developed, probably because they were necessary due to the increasing population density. The mechanism worked much like today, however, it was a little simpler. Number four, the police. Between 2050 and 1800 BC, it seems the first police force in the world originated in Egypt. The warriors and mercenaries were accompanied by dogs and monkeys and provided law and order in city squares and temples. Number three, antibiotics. Officially, antibiotics were invented in the 20th century. However, the doctors of ancient Egypt used moldy pita bread to heal festering wounds. That actually worked and had a similar effect to an antibiotic ointment. Number two, bowling. In an Egyptian village near Cairo, a game room from the year 3200 BC was discovered. In this room, they found a very early version of what seemed to be a bowling alley, with cones and balls with holes for access. The only question that's left is whether they played by any of our current rules. And finally, number one, eye treatments. Among the ancient Egyptians, an eye infection was very common. For the treatment, they used cleaning agents made of parts of human brain. Then there was also honey. Whether any of this really helped is still unclear since nowadays such treatments are prohibited. Okay folks, I wonder if there's any more lifestyle choices that we can trace all the way back to the Egyptians. If you like this video, why not check out another one right here? Just click in the middle. Until next time, bye.